What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers, and I'm gonna be showing you MSI's Click BIOS 5, which is their UEFI BIOS here on the X99A X Power Gaming Titanium motherboard. Now this BIOS should be pretty much the same across MSI's entire line of X99 motherboards. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in and check it out here. And now I'm in easy mode, and you can switch between easy mode and advanced mode um, either by clicking this or by hitting F7 on the keyboard. So you can switch back and forth. Now I'm gonna go over easy mode really quick. Um, easy mode is great for a lot of people who don't wanna dive down deep into the BIOS itself. So it has everything that you would want. So you have all of your information right here on the board and your CPU speed and your memory speed and all that. Uh, temperatures, all that kind of stuff. And um, your boot priority, and what's nice about this is that you can just click and drag this and change your boot priority, which is kind of nice. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and easily do that. Our memory does not have XMP, but if it did, we could set our XMP profile here. And then we have Game Boost, which is the instant overclocking, and you can easily just change this and instantly overclock your system. We have uh, information here on our CPU, our memory, storage information, fan information, and you can actually go into the settings here and go into hardware monitor and, and do all that, which I'll get into in just a second. Um, then we have help, um, which gives you some information on the game boost functions and you know all that kind of stuff. Um, it's hot key help. And then we go down to M flash, which allows you to easily flash your BIOS. We're not going to do it. Uh, we have favorites here, so you can set your favorites. So if there's a setting that you always change, you can go ahead and add it to your favorites here. We have hardware monitor, um, which again is super nice. Um, that has all of your hardware information in real time and you can set your fan modes here um, which is nice you can see we have smart fan mode um, all that kind of different stuff here you know it's just really nice to see it uh, in the BIOS if you're having temperature issues or voltage issues you can see it before you even get into Windows which is definitely nice close that out um, we have LAN option ROM you can turn on and off our HD audio controller you can turn on and off fast boot you can turn on and off um, CPU warning fail, fail control, you can turn this on and off as well. So if you're using a system, uh, some type of cooling that you're not going to be using a CPU fan, you can actually turn this off so you don't get the warning every time you start up your PC. Um, you can set your hard drive mode. You can see we have AHCI enabled, but you can set RAID and IDE. And then BIOS log review, it shows you everything that you've changed in the BIOS. That is easy mode. It is extremely, as the name says, easy to use. So it has everything that you would want to change. You know, the biggest things that you're going to be changing um, for a lot of first time users is setting your XMP profile, possibly, uh, you know, changing your boot priority and, you know, maybe setting your hard drive mode. So you have all that right here. Now for us advanced users, we can jump into this main BIOS, which is the actual main BIOS here. And we'll go, uh, you can see we have these little tabs or, uh, you know, setting things here. And we can just jump right in. So main motherboard settings, you can see we have system status, advanced boot security, and save and exit. So in system status, it's just everything that's going on with our system. You can only see we have one hard drive in there. Um, and just information like that. Under advanced, now this is all of your configurations. So USB, uh, integrated peripherals, you know, Windows OS configuration, all that kind of stuff. You can go and dive deep down and change settings. Of course, we're not going to go into all of that. Boots, um, you can set your boot priority. Again, you can easily do it up here as well. Uh, you can do that, which is nice. Security, you can set passwords and you can set uh, the chass chassis intrusion configuration, which you can go ahead and set up. So if somebody opens your system, uh, it will get an alert. And save and exit. Um, you know, you can save your ch save changes, restore defaults, um, all that. And there is a boot override, which is always nice, especially if you're installing Windows from a USB flash drive, which you should be doing. Um, boot override allows you to boot once from a single uh, drive or flash drive, and then next time it restarts, it will boot from the hard drive. That's extremely uh, convenient when you are doing a system install. Now, OC settings, of course, this is where you're going to change everything to overclock your system if you're gonna do that. So you can see we have um, you know, simple and advanced mode. I'm in advanced mode. Um, and you can go ahead and go down and change everything. Now, the big thing that you're gonna want to enable or disable is the game boost function. So on the motherboard, there is a button or a tile that allows you to instantly overclock. Now, you can set it by the onboard button, 
but if you do that you can see it disables all of our CPU ratio stuff so if you want to actually um, change your CPU ratio and, and all that kind of stuff you want to actually disable this um, but click it by BIOS option so now I, I can of course change my CPU ratio and do all that kind of stuff um, and you know as we go down you can see we have our memory timings and all that kind of stuff um, all of our power settings are here as well so if you want to change your voltages you can do that and you can go and see all of your CPU specifications and your technology support if you need to check something you can go into memory Z and check out the uh, timings for each stick of your memory and CPU features so if you want to maybe enable or disable hyper, hyper threading or any of this stuff you can go ahead and do that and we'll go to mflash and I believe it yeah it asks you to reboot so mflash is allows you to easily flash your BIOS so if there's a BIOS update you just throw it on a flash drive plug it in your system run mflash so easy to do super super simple you can save and load profiles um, you can have up to six overclocking profiles and you can load and save your profiles from a USB drive which is nice um, you know maybe if you're working with a couple different systems you can easily save your profile hardware monitor again I just really like this you could the graphical interface is really really nice and you know you can go ahead and and change uh, your fan settings in here and all of that it's just really really cool get out of that and then board explorer um, a lot of companies have been doing this and what this does is that it kind of gives you information on what's going on in your system so if I go in here and I hover over you know one of these it says you can see we're, we're running a uh, NVIDIA Corporation graphics card if we go over here you can see we're running uh, DDR4 from Micron you know um, USB which is not connected but if it was we would see information there um, one of these should come up and show us if we have something installed possibly no they don't um, but it just gives you information what's going on in your system and it's a graphical user interface which is kind of nice so that is uh, definitely pretty cool there and that is basically it um, some of the other things um, up here is your favorites so this will just launch you into your favorites uh, really easily you can change your language up here and uh, course f12 is to take a screenshot um, make sure you have a usb flash drive installed so that's where it's going to save if not it will not save um, that's basically it it's it's a really simple bios um, again for all the everybody who wants to do overclocking everything here is in the oc menu everything else is in motherboard settings um, you know and then of course you have that great hardware monitor and you can save and load your profiles super easy to use so if you have any questions here about msi's click bios 5 go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Till next time, catch you guys later.